This lesson describes the use of the paint bucket and ink bottle tools and demonstrates their use. So over here in the toolbar, I'm able to select either the paint bucket or the ink bottle tool. When I have the paint bucket tool selected, I'm able to go in and dump paint onto any shape objects to change their fill. So in order to do this, I can go into my, my color picker or my swatches, and I can choose a new color, so let's say red, and then simply just click on that item. And we can see that it changes its fill color from that gray that it previously was to this red. And I can actually do this with more than just simple colors. I can do it with gradient as well. So there's a nice gradient wash for us. That's a similar red color. Let's say, though, I have an object that consists of only strokes. So these are strokes here. And I want to add a fill to this. I could use something like the paintbrush tool and tediously fill this in. But actually, I can use the paint bucket tool to simply click within an enclosed stroke and be able to fill that with paint. Note that this won't work if there's any sort of a break in the path of this stroke. It has to be an enclosed stroke for the paint fill to work. Very similar to this is the ink bottle tool. So using the ink bottle tool, I can go in and change the stroke that I'm working with. So let's choose this blue color. And then once I click on the stroke on my star, you can see that it actually applies that stroke. So just like the paint bucket does for fills, the ink bottle works in a similar way for stroke. Notice too, if I select this entire stroke and remove it from my object, so now my object only consists of a fill, I can use the ink bottle tool to choose a color. Let's choose something a little lighter. Go back to green, perhaps. And if I click on the outside of the shape, it will reapply this stroke for us. And these fills and strokes that are applied with both of these tools can be manipulated in the same exact way as normal shapes can. They're just simply adding or changing the fill and stroke properties for us. So this has been an example of how to use both the paint bucket and ink bottle tools within Flash Professional CS6.